Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. Uh, thank you for checking out this next video. Uh, today, this video is just going to feature, you know, me. So you guys, you guys get a special treat. Um, it's only featuring me for several reasons. One, I'm wearing this hat and Lee hates when I wear hats because apparently I look like a little kid. So I felt like putting the hat on. Two, she is not going to like this video because she thinks I'm being extremely cheap. Am I? Possibly. Is it okay? Yes. So, um, Lee and I have been working out just about every day for the past two months. Uh, making some really good, you know, strides and changing our personal uh, health. And because of that, I've been doing a lot more cardio and I've hit a milestone. Um, I've had, you know, these pair of shoes for about five or six years. And, you know, just from working out, you know, they're starting to, uh, not starting, they are officially, you know, talking to me, coming off the sides of the shoe. Kind of noticed it last night in the gym. Um, so, of course, Lee wants me to get a new pair of shoes. But, I got to go to Home Depot. <laughs> so, because I got to go to Home Depot, I'm going to fix these shoes without having to buy new ones. Do I have the money to buy them? Yes. Is, is it in the budget? Yes. Do I want to? No, because I I prefer to go to Home Depot and spend five bucks on some Gorilla Glue, and then it's like a little craft. It's not a big thing. It's real simple, very easy to do. But you know, I figured it was something worth sharing. Lee didn't think so, so this video um, is my video. So went to the store, bought some Gorilla Glue, five dollars from Home Depot. You can use it on just about everything. Um, don't get it on yourself. But you can't beat it. Help me. It's going to help me fix these shoes. And I'll probably wear them later when we go to the gym. You're just supposed to let it sit and rest for about 24 hours. Um, but it's just a shoe, so it shouldn't come off that quickly again. So all I'm going to do, and what, this is exactly what I told Lee. A lot of those shoe restoration or you know refurbishing shoes videos, all they do is strip the binding from the shoe and the bottom of from the top to the bottom of the shoe, and they just re-glue it later. So all I'm doing is refurbishing my shoes, which you know I'm actually pretty excited about. So let's see here. Let's get this Gorilla Glue going. Okay, cool. All right. So all I'm doing is, I wish I could show you a little bit better, but in the shoe, there's a little lining. That's where the glue before already was from when I bought the shoe. So all I'm doing is gonna be following that exact line and making sure that the, the shoe has a glue on it everywhere it's supposed to. Lee is not gonna be happy that I posted this on YouTube, but I think it was YouTube worthy. So now all I'm gonna do is press and apply. Press, press, press. Oh, that needs a little bit more. I missed a little spot right there. Yeah. Usually, you know, you're supposed to, you know, wear gloves and all that, but I didn't do that. I was going to do duct tape, but, you know, this is more visually pleasing instead of duct tape on shoes, but I'm not above using duct tape either. I'm just holding it, let the glue get a good seal, and I'll show you the finished product later when I'm done. So one other benefit about going to Home Depot and doing things on your own instead of doing 
you know, just start buying stuff new. You always find something else that you can use that exact same thing for. So I have my um, my car remote. Um, it, the I dropped it a couple times, and the bottom end of the remote right here always comes off. So I put it back on a couple times, but if it gets hit, if it's banged up in, in any form or fashion, it stops working. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to apply a little <laughs> Gorilla Glue and make sure that it's stuck on there for quite a while. So let's see here. First, I took the remote apart from the back to make sure I get this in exactly where it's supposed to. So I'm just going to slide that in. And this is really the part I should be using gloves for, but where the fun in that? <laughs> Lee is not gonna like this video. She sees it. Yeah, and that's where it broke off right there. So because part of the plastic has come off, I have to be very, very, not plastic, but some of the, I guess the bindings will keep shit in place have come off. So I'm just gonna stick a little glue. Here, let it drip. There, let it drip. I'm not putting it everywhere just in a couple places where I know that's what's causing the problem for it to stay on there, which is cheaper than me going to buy a new remote. So I'm not gonna put the top back on it because I don't want the top to be stuck on there forever. I still wanna be able to get into the back of the remote and can change the battery or the keys right here so I can always use those. So I'm just gonna let this sit for a few hours and should be done pretty soon. But, so I did finish um, gluing my shoes. And I have to say, you know, they're not, they're not talking. I can't pull them apart. Yeah, I can't pull them apart. So, I'm gonna let these sit, but these are ready to go. So, they come, they, the treadmill is gonna be just fine. So, Lee, when you see this, you know, I saved some money. I didn't have to, but I did. But you told me you like me because I'm resourceful and good with my hands. So, everybody get out there, get, get yourself some Gorilla Glue. Can't beat it. And just keep it stocked. You can use it for just about any application that you have. So, I'm definitely going to be keeping this for a long time. So, thanks for watching.